హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఏకేఎస్ ఐఏఎస్ మెయిన్ శిక్షణ ఫ్రీ ఇనిషియేటివ్ దిస్ ఈస్ సంతోష్ కోక టుడేస్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ ఈస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఇంటర్నేషనల్ రిలేషన్స్ ఫర్ నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ డిస్కస్ ద స్ట్రాటజిక్ సిగ్నిఫికెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆకస్ సెక్యూరిటీ ప్యాక్ట్ ఫర్ ద ఇండో పసిఫిక్ రీజియన్ వాట్ రోల్ షుడ్ ఇండియా ప్లే ఇన్ రెస్పాన్స్ టు దిస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఇంటర్నేషనల్ రిలేషన్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ బికాస్ రీసెంట్లీ ఆకస్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ was in the news that is the case here we need to focus on the arcus formation and also arcus expansion and also what is the important significance of indo pacific region here and also we need to focus on what is the india's role in the expansion or formation of arcus here very very important topic so let's start our answer writing process we need to focus on our smart and simple technique before writing answer that is three steps before writing the answer so first one is question reading here we need to uh, read the question to identify how many parts are there here two parts are there first one is significance and also second one is india's role right so next what is the topic here arcus arcus whether it is formation or expansion arcus security pact related information right so next what are the important topic uh, question tags here first one is discuss and also second one is what so for discuss we need to write something regarding positives and a negatives positives means significance for next negatives means some challenges we need to focus on next we need to provide some solutions to the problem that is the discuss question tag so next what what means here question tag what defines not only definition but also need to give some important information but here they have asked regarding the india's role what role should india play in response to this development everyone or so many aspirants are writing like what has india played uh, some role in the Uh, regarding formation of arcus but not uh, exactly uh, asked in the question what role should be india play in response to this development this is very very important keywords are etc right we need to focus on that first uh, before writing answer so many aspirants done mistake here so what role should india play means this is futuristic note next what are the important keywords here strategic significance strategic significance is one important thing here what are the important aim or object or some components of arcus here we need to write so next indo pacific region is also one important keyword we need to add one, at least one line regarding the significance or importance of indo pacific region here next what role should india play in response to this development india's role is the main keyword here right this is the question reading or uh before uh, writing some answer we need to focus on all these uh, important issues then only we can write better answers this question reading should be completed in 1 minute next brainstorming here we need to recall all the information related to our topic right what is arcus and uh, in which year it was established or arcus related issues recent issues recently we have seen japan is going to join as a member of arcus security pact we can include that right or new zealand new zealand may join this also right so we need to include all those geopolitical issues also right so regarding arcus security pact indo pacific region is a major significant part here right we need to e- include each and every important term or other than arcus we have quad quadrilateral dialogue we need to include all these information right related information also right examples also right very very important here we need to recall all the information related to our topic within 1 minute right next important thing is presenting answer we need to present our answer within 6 minutes we can conclude or we can complete our answer within 6 minutes if we follow about two important steps right totally we can complete our first short answer within 8 minutes right that is the process here next coming to approach we need to uh, add our recent uh, decent introduction coming to decent introduction we need to add recent developments of arcus here whatever we we have seen in the recent news whether japan may include in the arcus pact that is expansion of arcus we can include that expansion 
whether it uh, japan or new zealand right whatever it may be next we need to give some brief information of aukus right brief background we need to give here so for example we have uh, when it was announced or uh, how many countries are there what is its aim mainly we can include all this information so especially this aukus recently aukus made headlines with australia commencing the development of nuclear powered submarines a move a mainly aimed at countering china's prominence or growing military presence in south china sea that is the main uh, information here important point so right so next coming to body part we need to include some strategic significance here past to side right so already we have quadrilateral dialogue right so in uh, especially in the indo pacific region quadrilateral dialogue was there how many countries are there four countries first one is japan and australia and also india but it is led by us right us j us we can say like mnemonic j us is the mnemonic for quadrilateral dialogue we can remember easily right next we have a uh, former organization like five eyes alliance right right very very important this already we have seen in the uh, news recently regarding our india canada relation it is a intelligence sharing agency right intelligence information sharing agency five eyes alliance in this we have five countries we have us canada and also australia and new zealand in between we have uk right all these five countries are important regarding the five eyes alliance group so other than this we have chip four alliance also chip four alliance regarding the semiconductor uh, development right that is also very very important Sem semiconductor major development countries are members in this group us japan south korea and also taiwan very very important all these groups are there but what is the need to form arcus that is the main important issue uh, regarding the geopolitical tensions here arcus means here australia and uk united kingdom and also us all these three are a security pact not an alliance or not a dialogue it is a security pact pact means it is a agreement what is agreement just to transfer the technology from uk and us to australia that is the important significance of this agreement so what is the techno technology not only modern technology mainly nuclear submarines right nuclear submarines technology right very very important here nuclear powered submarines to develop or to acquire australia as a nuclear powered submarines country that is the main aim of this uh, arcus Uh, security pact but here uh, so many aspirants should come with a doubt already we have quad right quadrilateral dialogue in this uh, japan is there australia is there and also india is there us is there but why again aukus here here some geopolitical uh, strategic information regarding information or in, uh, regarding international relations we need to understand the important developments uh, if we follow newspaper regularly we can understand these developments very simple right here arcus is a very recent security pact but it is its main aim is to strengthen australia strengthen australia to acquire nuclear submarines but here india why not india everyone should come a doubt with why not india because already we have some perception of anti china here already we uh, the quadrilateral regarding quadrilateral group a perception is there in so many countries uh, remaining regional countries are uh, criticizing these groups especially us led groups we are giving chance to come into our home that is the main reason anti china segment is there every group or security pact or dialogue is uh, target is only counter the china's prominence in the particular region that is the main issue but here india should not be included in the arcus why because without adding india so many perceptions are there if india is to become a uh, a member of arcus it will be different story because already we have cold war in the previous decades right Al already cold war was happened long before back on time right but here nuclear arms race may come 
right? Because of these pacts, because China already we have as a prominence, uh, rising prominence country, especially in the region, Indo-Pacific region. Other than China, North Korea also is rapidly increasing their its programs, nuclear programs or weapons, right? Already we have two, uh, almost two enemy, enemy or rivalry countries to uh, US or India, right? Other than that, already uh, we have these type of tensions other than these Indo-Pacific region, we have Russia-Ukraine war, right? Ongoing war and also Israel-Palestinian issue is there, right? So, out of all the geopolitical issues, US and also the uh, important re, uh, AUKUS security pact related uh, issues are going right in this criteria or in this context India should not be a player or member of AUKUS security pact that is the uh, that is what I need to share here because so many have written on the answers especially India need to become a AUKUS security pact or something but India should not be a member already India has been a member in the quadrilateral dialogue and they are discussing in the quadrilateral platform regarding the AUKUS development solve, right? Even though India is not a member, it is discussing regarding the AUKUS security pact developments in the quad quadrilateral dialogue. That is the main important thing here. We focus on these uh, important details regarding international relations. So here strategic significance part, strengthening military capabilities is very, very important here. AUKUS facilitates transfer of advanced military te technology already discussed, including nuclear powered submarines, right? to Australia. Next, countering China's influence already discussed, especially it particularly contested areas like South China Sea, Taiwan Strait is very, very important here, right? To strengthen the military presence of US allies, it is the one of important point. Next, enhancing the regional security architecture also one important thing here. Enhancing regional security architecture. Already we have in the Indo-Pacific region quad, right? So, out of quad, to, uh, the pact is part of a broader strategy to build a network of alliances and partnership to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific region. That is the main aim. Next, technological advancement are there. Regarding technological advancement, AUKUS focuses on emerging technologies like uh, cyber capabilities and artificial intelligence and quantum technologies also, which are very crucial for modern defense strategies. Very, very important. All these positive factors are need to be included within uh, with including examples also, right? Next, coming to our challenges part. Challenges associated with our AUKUS pact. First one is we have uh, perception of anti-China. Already we have discussed in the discussion explanation part, right? Perception already there was a perception of anti-China segment or anti-China uh, issue, right? That is one case. Next. Next, escalation of military tensions also very, very important here. Military tensions like particularly the introduction of nuclear powered submarines and advanced military technologies to Australia, it could escalate the arms race in the region, high, highlighting military tensions also very, very important this point. Next, concerns of regional players. Here, some small countries are regional players, whatever we have, uh, like uh, we have Malaysia and also Indonesia. They are opposing or they are expressing their concerns about the potential for increased this type of militarization or impact, very impact on the particular region. Next, nuclear proliferation is also very, very important. Nuclear proliferation means here the provision of nuclear powered submarines to a non-nuclear weapon states raises concerns about nuclear proliferation because AUKUS, what is AUKUS agreement? They are transferring the modern technology including nuclear weapon submarine weapon submarines to australia right this is this was very uh, conflict point regarding the npt non proliferation nuclear non proliferation treaty very very important so it was already signed by uh, australia but they are acquiring nuclear weapons right that is the case here very very important point next exclusion of france so, exclusion of France is also very, very important. No one uh, will be focusing on these type of issues here. Exclusion of France means here already France is in agreement with Australia regarding the supply of submarines, conventional submarines. 
very very important some uh, conventional submarines transferring technology and also france is a very key player to uh, transferring technology to uh, especially in the indo pacific region right so why exclusion of france is a challenge to arcus right already france ignorance of france irritation irritation comes within france because of exclusion of france in the these type of alliances because already australia and france is in agreement regarding the conventional transfer of conventional submarines not nuclear conventional submarines again arcus has formed that is the issue with france it may be it may uh, it may clo- go close to russia after some time because of these exclusion right that that is uh, another geopolitical tension right we can't think like that so next important points are role and response that is very very important here so india's role is the second part right india's role what is the india's role already we need to include here a present context also presently india is playing very important role in the indo pacific region right in the pacific region we have cordial relations with japan and also taiwan like countries south korea already we have so many countries right australia new zealand right very much have so many cordial relations for cooperated cooperating in this regard we need to focus on what role should india play in response to the development means aka security pact right strengthening alliances right india should continue to strengthen its partnership with these type of agreements other than we have already quad right quad lateral dialogue and also bilateral agreement with key regional players like indonesia malaysia etc right enhancing maritime security also very important here india must strengthen its maritime capabilities focusing on andaman and nicobar islands also right very very important here so as a strategic outpost in the indo indian ocean next engaging in dialogue very very important here india should engage in constructive dialogues with aukas also right arcus already it is uh, indirectly involving in the arcus discussions in the quad platform right so uh, next balancing relations while aligning with arcus members india should maintain its strategic autonomy and continue to engage with other major powers including china and russia to ensure a balanced foreign policy uh, already we have discussed in the explanation part right we should not create a a uh, nuclear arms race in the coming days that is the main role should india play in this development in this regard right that is the main issue here right all these points are in the futuristic note that is india's role and response that's why we have not written any uh, way forward or needed measures here yeah, this is only futuristic part right needed measures next conclusion part in the conclusion part we need to connect to one to one and a half at least one to one and a half line that is a futuristic note right so the if if we fo- follow or if india follow above measures by playing a proactive role india can contribute to this regional stability and ensure its strategic interests are safeguarded in the involving geopolitical landscape we can include these type of statements here that's it right as a vasudeva kutumbakam or vishwa guru we can we can include these type of words here right uh, regarding our india's uh, significance right so very very important this was the this is the best approach to this question right we need to include all these uh, recent developments then let's check today's answer that is written by sindhu daneti right in july 2024 arcus partners conducted their first joint military exercise in south china sea very good this is current affairs introduction very good now it is the first time since 1958 us shared its nuclear submarines technology arcus was formed when it was formed also written very good facts and also it is all about static information next aim enhancing security and stability in the indo pacific region through advanced military cooperation good next strategic significance first part of the discuss keyword very very important keyword military balance here already nuclear powered submarines like uh, uh, virginia class and improved joint operational capabilities technological advancement 
already discussed artificial intelligence or quantum technologies transfer uh, security cooperation or something regional security architecture also asian initiatives promoting rules based order etc in the malabar enhance this cooperation next geopolitical dynamics also reinforces us pivot to asia uh, signaling united uh, united nations stance against these chinese aggression especially right very very good freedom of navigation operations in the south china sea that is the main aim of this uh, formation of AUKUS. India's role, strengthen strategic partnership, enhance ties with the US, Japan and Australia through what initiative like the Malabar naval exercises. Next, regional diplomacy engage Asia to prevent tensions and promote cooperation. Good point. Defense capabilities also written, including the joint development of defense ties with the US. Finally, strategic autonomy, also balanced relations with Western allies. That is Russia and China for flexible foreign policy maintaining independence. Very good. All the important points has been written by Sindhu. Next challenges here. Regional tensions and defense modernization diplomatic balance are the important challenges. But uh, uh, this uh, flowchart is not enough. We need to write some important information here. So finally, way forward, India should continue strengthening quad cooperation, enhance defense, modernization and maintain strategic autonomy to navigate the evolving security dynamics effectively. Very, very good point here. Good forward or way forward suggestion from India's role point of view. Right? Next, India needs to carefully design its Indo-Pacific policy while keeping its long-term strategies and economic interests in mind. That is the futuristic note here connected. Very good. So, all, uh, out of all information, very good information here, we can include the expansion also, right, recent, very recent development, expansion of AUKUS, whether with the, with Japan or New Zealand, right, very, very important this, this one. And also we need to, uh, uh, we can connect uh, this, uh, whether India to be part of this AUKUS or not also. Right? We can give those type of information and also perception of China is also a very important point regarding the challenges. Right? So, other than that, everything written properly, very good. So, for this answer, we can give 5 and half out of 10 mocks. Very good. Futuristic note also good. Way forward also good. Other than some challenges point of view, we can give these marks. So, right, our challenges need to be written some uh, briefly, right, with examples, right. Other than that, very good. So, keep writing like this. So, coming to next main section of question for 20th July 2024, that is day 22. Explain the principles of e-governance and assess its impact on public service delivery in India, right. That is related to our subject governance, very, very important. So, recently we have seen so many issues regarding the e-governance initiatives, right. Very, very important, right? Question may come from this, uh, this area. So, write your answers and upload in the assignment section of AKS app. The link was provided in the video description. Please check. Thank you very much. All the very best.